Uh, speaking of art, I see Gaia, the earth soul and goddess, as the primeval creator. Look at the beauty and the logics of nature. There is no difference for me between art process and the way how Gaia, the earth soul and goddess creates. As a consequence, I can use the tools of art to be creative in different aspects of the network of life. The free nature of artistic work corresponds also to the new cosmic cycle that the Earth is entering at the threshold of the third millennium. So uh, I try with uh, the artistic pro process to follow uh, her uh, wisdom and, and knowledge and uh, I, I do create different forums to co-create with her. First of all, um, I, de I developed a lithopuncture uh, as a kind of uh, acupuncture of the earth so that um, the work can be done on healing the wounds that uh, human uh, civilization has inflicted um, upon uh, Gaia's uh, places and landscapes. Um, lithopuncture is about positioning stones on certain points of, of a place um, and then uh, to carve uh, cosmograms into the stones which are a specific uh, science, um, a kind of language to communicate with uh, the consciousness of Gaia and the uh, environment. Through cosmograms the, the purpose is being uh, uh, clearly defined why there a stone uh, is, is standing. And then in the next step, uh, together with my collaborators uh, from different uh, countries, we developed uh, geopuncture um, circles, uh, which are a complex um, composition of stones and cosmograms to address different issues important for the relationship between human uh, civilization and the Earth. In the 60s of the last century, 50 years ago, we developed with a whole group different art forms that I can use also nowadays with a different purpose. For example, I develop Gaia touch exercises, a, a body uh, movement um, exercises and rituals that help in the inner development of the individual and in the relationship to, to Gaia. Uh, the Earth's soul. Also, um, I am working in a peace a workshop, uh, which is uh, identi I identified um, 13 causes that are leading towards conflicts within the human being and the nations. And I work with people uh, to uh, transform it into a new matrix of peace. To introduce visitors of museums to a new 12 dimensional space and time uh, structure that is actual uh, today, uh, we create together with my wife uh, Marika um, installations uh, built from natural materials so that uh, there can be an inner experience of these new dimensions of reality. One of the main themes of my work over the last 30 years concerns Venice. I perceive Venice Lagoon as a sensible equilibrium organ of Gaia and one of the places where she gives birth to the pluridimensional structure of the planet. It can be compared with the balancing organs that we humans have in the ears. Venetian culture was capable of building Venice as a city perfectly balanced between the elements of water and the inspiration of fire. Through my workshops in Venice and books, I try to support the planetary role of Venice in these rather turbulent times of change and new beginning. <laughs>